I'll just give you a brief explanation. Surely that's enough? That's not enough. No, I want to know why you're, why you're interested in this. So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Fortress Technology. Now, the gate does look a little bit secure and there is a camera on that gate there. It's protected by Securitas. Let's just have a quick look on Google to see what they do here. Fortress Technology is a global leader in the design, manufacturing and sales of metal detectors. Check weigh-in systems and combination systems engineered with an exclusive, never obsolete guarantee. So it will check for metal in food, creams, textiles, pharmaceutical, wood. So obviously when you're dealing with such high end, yeah, that's just the water dispenser supplier. So inside, we can see some wooden crates. I can't see any labels. We might have some labels down there. Fragile electronic equipment is all I can read. Do not stack. Nothing really visible other than that. So Network 11. Fortress Technology is on unit number six. Got lots of other units in here. We've got Jensen, Fiddy's Pain, DB Foods. But the one that we want is just here on the left. I'm not sure if they have an entrance from this side. No, they don't. The only way into Fortress Technology was through the gate, which we've already been to. But we can see a see-through fence to my right. And they have got their own vehicle, a Fortress Technology metal detection check weighing x-ray as well. Nice. And I've got a trailer there that says the same. Ah. But as I say, there is no way to get into Fortress from this car park. So it's all done from the back gate. Even the fire exits just lead to solid fences. There's no way out in this direction. So let's go back to the gate. Hi there. Hi. I ask what you're doing. Nothing. Just what make are you filming. I'm making a video of Fortress. Fort. Just for a private project I've got going on. Have you got permission? I'm outside. Do you film in private property? Don't need permission for that. What are you filming us for? Making a project, private on? project. Fortress. On what? Metal detection. Yeah. Why are you filming us? Because I'm, what I'm doing, I'm getting some clips, some video clips. I'm going to piece them together and I'm gonna put a video onto YouTube about what Fortress Technology does. But I'm doing it all from the outside. The video will point to your building, but um, are you thinking that's not allowed then or something? Well, I was just wondering why, why? Have you got, have you got our permission to do it or? I don't need your permission to make a video about your building. <coughs> In what, but I, I don't understand. You, you can't see what we're doing, but yet you're filming the outside of our building. I don't understand why you don't I'll just give you a brief explanation. Surely that's enough. That's not enough. No, I want to know why you're, why you're interested in us. So we're get, getting a bit deeper now, aren't we? Who are you, sorry? I work here. Yeah, what's your position? It's no, no concern to you. Right, we're going down that avenue, are we? Okay. That's a shame. I was here just to do a nice little video about Fortress Technology. In, yeah, but in what way? Because we've had people, my staff, telling me that you're filming us and it's just worrying, I am. It's worrying them, that's all. I'm filming the building, I've not been filming people. Have you, have you had a report that I'm filming people? I, the report was that you're filming in there, so yeah. there's obviously people walking around there all the time. So unless yeah. you've got consent to film people, there's that to consider. No, you don't need consent if you're filming from a public place. <coughs> we just weren't doing what you're doing, that was all. And I hope that by now I've told you enough. I'm filming little clips from different angles. 
different clips from different angles. I'm going to take the drone over and with all the video clips that I get today, I'm going to make a video and make it as interesting as I can for my viewers, that's all. So you're going to fly a drone over the property? Yeah. I normally fly the drone over because sometimes you've got some hidden areas, little behind the scenes areas that we can't see from public. But I zoom in everything I can see from a public place about any business that I find interesting and the fact that you provide the technology to find metal particles in things like food. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And creams, yeah. stuff like that. It's very unusual. I go around all industrial estates, any little business that I find interesting, like I've just said, I'll do a little video about it. People can see what I found today. Okay. And surely, by me just telling you it's a little private project, I'm going to put some clips together and put it on YouTube. That should have been enough. No, well, we're just making sure there's nothing untoward going on, that's all. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Well, you have got great CCTV, great security. You've only got one access point. Yeah. Even your fire exits don't lead to a different section, do they? No, they, exactly. They've all so got the, fact, the fact that you know all that worries me. That... I, I'm, do you know what? It's called an audit, right? I'm auditing this building today. I'm going to pick the good things out and the bad things out. But we haven't asked for you to do an audit. Well, that's great, because if you was doing something majorly wrong or polluting the rivers, etc., you're not going to ask people to see that, are you? No. So I'm here. There's nothing you can do about it. It's an on-the-spot inspection from the public area. I'm not going to come in, and I'm no, no threat. You're, no, you're not coming in. Well, you are a threat. If you're there, you know all about our entrance and access points, uh, or our security. That's a worry. That's a worry to me that you know all that. Who are you going to pass that information on to? Why, why are you collating that information is a worry. Anybody that watches the video can see the good and the bad things that I've found. Yeah, so you're going to point out to everybody where all our cameras are, where our fire exits are, all the entrance points. Have you ever considered putting a gate on that back fence so that you can have a, a better fire escape route? Because if, if this is blocked, you've only got one in and out point, haven't you? Yeah. So does that not ever come across your, your risk assessment? The fire risk assessment has been carried out and everybody is fully happy with it. It's been carried out by an independent body, which is of no concern to you. Yeah. Have you got solar panels on the roof? It's no concern to you. Well, that's one of the things that the drone finds. I see you've got a, a mortar silo as well. What's, yeah, correct. What's that it's got for? Provision. It's, it's a part of the process. What's, no you've concern got an, to you. You've got an ongoing requirement for mortar here, have you? It's no concern to you. It's just unusual, that's all. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you, I, do you see why this is worrying me? All these questions you're asking? Well, while I've got you here, I might as well see what you're willing to say. I'm not willing to tell you anything. You because have. You've said quite a bit. I have. <laughs> no, you might not think it, but thank you. Thank you. So yeah, we're not going to get an internal tour on this one, I gather that. So that's it. I'll just carry on my work like I was going to do outside. I sometimes do ring the intercom and I say, look, this is your opportunity now or never. Do you want to be involved or not? Who are you, by the way? Well, I did, I did test you on that earlier. I know if you would have told me who you was, I would have told you who I was. But you refused to identify. So I obviously don't need to identify, neither do you. You've retained that right, I will as well. If you're filming me, I'd like that <coughs> video cancelled. Yeah, politely... Yeah, you don't have my right. Politely declined on that one. You're out in public, I can film what I like. All right, so that's well, where we are, mate. I'll be calling the police, because you know all about me. All right, chap. So there we go. Another one who comes out and they think they're entitled to know everything. We just tell them a little bit, and that should be enough. But then we had to get deeper and deeper, didn't we? And he still walked away wanting to phone the police. So yeah, let's get the drone out. Let's see what is visible from the sky that we can't see from here or around the other end. And we'll go from there. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. Fortress technology, the metal detection, equipment supplier, Planning permission for the mortar silo, but why? You know, do they do some sort of bases that they put their equipment on with concrete bases? I don't know. No solar panels at all, look. And we now have a gentleman who's hovering around just down there. He's changed his mind, he's not coming out. A little car park around this side we have the trailer at the back that we saw from the fence check weighing and x-ray and it's towed by their own branded vehicle 
an access platform in the corner and then just lots and lots of staff that are working on site and yet we have now got two more members of staff down here who are heading in my direction so before we get distracted let's see as much as we can see something covered over down there look some wooden crates obviously nothing visible behind the gate where we are right now some more crates there and some skips but yes they are coming over so let's get David back Let's make it the shortest drone flight in history. And bring the drone video to a close already. We'll get it back up afterwards when we can do our 360 degree Hello. shot for Google Maps. Hiya. Right. Hiya. I'll just land this. I normally just do my video from the outside. I don't normally come in or want any involvement or anything. No, no so worries. thanks for offering. What you're doing. Long you need from us. No, no, no. And um, if, if things normally go a little bit better on the first instance, I do sometimes say, do you want to show me anything inside? But uh, so I can, what are you doing? I'm making a video for YouTube, that's all. OK, what, for what purpose? Just I find your company interesting. It's a bit unusual. It's a bit niche. I didn't even know it existed in Banbury. So I mean, in the area. You might think you're lucky or unlucky, you're going to have a video made today, that's all. Right, okay, because obviously it is private property, so we would want to give our permission for anything that's shown yeah. online. So private property, you own the land or rent the land, yeah? So you're yeah. The, you have control what happens on the land. I'm staying off the land. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. There's not an issue with that. It's yeah. just obviously if you put in footage of our property that we own. Yeah, and on, if anything that the, the public can the see. social network, then we would normally have to give our consent for anything. So from a marketing point of view, obviously, if you're putting imagery or anything, you should get the permission of the owner. Well, which no, not given. Google Maps, Google Streetcar. Mm -hmm. I'm just taking images like they did. It's difficult for us because obviously I don't know what you're producing or what you're putting together. Do you have a company card DJ or anything? DJ audits. Well, you don't actually know who's going to watch the Google <coughs> Maps images either, do you? No. So the public, the publicly accessible areas mm -hmm. can be used to film, take photos of anything that you can see from those areas. Mm -hmm. And they're already available on Street View, on yeah. Google. So yeah, you've got nothing to worry about. No, it's not that we've got anything to worry about. Obviously, we just wouldn't be performing due diligence if I didn't ask you a few questions okay. about it. So you're going to get trapped in the gate. Yeah. So, so you're marketing. You're, yeah. ma you're marketing, yeah? Yes. Yeah. And you are? Sorry. He is from what department? Production. Production, yeah. okay. Okay, that makes sense. Just so thank you for your approach. I, I very much appreciated. But yeah, so I'm just taking the same images as Google has. Mm -hmm. I'm just telling my viewers a little bit more about what I find interesting. Sure. It's my vlog, do my work, interpretation. Do you work for a public company? Um, your colleague has just already mentioned my name. DJ okay. Audits. DJ family. Audits, okay. Yeah. All right, so there's nothing, there's nothing <laughs> secret about it. All right, well, thanks very much. Have a good day. And you, yeah. thank you. So that's that. I do like the ladies' approach much better than the gentlemen's. So let's get the drone back up. Let's get that 360 degree photo for Google Maps. And then we shall move on. So a quick summary of what happened there. We only filmed this gate for a very small number of minutes. We then cycled round to the other yard and that lasted only another minute. Then we returned back here. Nobody saw us really at all, but there was a gentleman over there in the black BMW and he might have been on his lunch. And I think he just arrived and entered through the big gate here when those people were walking away at the end. The approach of the first gentleman, you know, that small snippet of information, we are innocent video makers. That should have been enough, but it wasn't. He pushed and pushed and pushed and wanted to know more and more without even telling us who he is. But the lady who came over from marketing, she was happy, nothing to hide. I'll tell you who I am. I don't know who you are, but I will treat you with respect and talk to you like a human being. You know, we're just outside making a video from a public place about something interesting. And it has a few questions, you know. What is the ongoing requirement for mortar? 
is it right that they only have one main gate and no other fire exits that will get you off site? I don't know. If you wanted to exit from this gate only, well, they have got a press to exit button there. And you know, could that be abused? Could you get a stick through this, this little gap here and press that exit button to open the gate? I think you could. I'd love to have had all these conversations with him, you know, like a, a human being. And maybe he can use that information. It might be useful, I don't know. But we found somewhere that detects metal in food manufacturer, things that need that high level of testing. This company provide the technology and the machinery to do that. So there's only one last thing to do. Let's hide that key ring. You wanna go in? No, 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 I'm just looking. I'm just looking at this button here. The press to exit button there. I think that if I had, if I had a stick like this, and I put that through and I press that button, I think this gate would open. Camera. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, but <laughs> yeah, you I can couldn't open. button, run in, grab, run out. Yeah. Car here, off. Number plate, wrong number plate, gone. Yeah. Camera, no good. Hmm. With a stick, press yeah. that button like that. Exactly. You hmm. think it would work? Definitely. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Have a nice day. So yeah, one last thing to do. Let's hide the keyring. So that concludes the video here at Fortress Technology. We are gonna try and push that button with the stick. But before we do that, I'll just show you where the keyring is hidden on this video, just above this sign, just up there in the corner, look. You can just about see it. <laughs> so yes, switch over to GoPro for the final shot of trying to open this gate. So this is the ultimate security test. With a stick through the gate, can you open the gate with a stick? Well, this wooden stick is bending too much. So you cannot actually press it. But if this stick was a bit more rigid with plastic or metal, then I suspect that would have worked. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.